Hi guys, I'm uh, shooting this video tonight for you in standard definition for a reason because, well, we're going to talk a bit about uh, about videotape, how videotape was recorded and some of the, the troubles that you would have with videotape if you tried to uh, play it at a different speed than it was recorded. So I'll just get a couple crude drawings here because what we're going to see, what comes up a little bit later on this this this, uh, this video is a demonstration. Now, doing time lapse or sped up photography, sped up video. Now, when you're dealing with a computer, is really easy. You load your video files onto your hard drive, and then you can change your timeline. You can put, make it forward, reverse turn the picture upside down, invert it, do everything digitally, it's really easy, but back in the days of analog video it wasn't easy at all. And the demonstration that is coming up, it was a, a video I did back in probably about 1990, and it's a, it's a driving video. So those buffs of, uh, of vintage footage will like this because especially if you live around the Vancouver area you'll see a lot of things that hadn't happened yet like the SkyTrain hadn't been built and so forth because this was shot back in um, in the late 80s or early 90s but it's done in, at high speed and and the reason I'm shooting this in, in, in standard definition is just so I can kind of demonstrate it and the quality will maintain uh, about the same quality um, so this is an illustration of how videotape is played back so your your head drum is spinning and your tape your video tracks are drawn at a diagonal path and as we can see here as the tape moves I'm just looking for something to point with as your tape moves your tape is moving this direction to the right as your tape moves the video head will scan each track as the tape moves but what happens if you speed that tape up well your head drum is going the same speed remember so if we go to the next illustration this is what would happen if you put the tape and fast forward as the head traced across it would no longer follow one video track it would actually cross over from one video track to the next and this is why when you put your your VCR into fast forward or, or visual search video or forward or reverse search you had lines in the picture because what that was was that was the video head actually crossing over from one frame to the next and the only way you could get smooth playback is if you had a VTR that had what was called dynamic tracking. Now dynamic tracking worked by having little uh, actuators on the playback heads that could actually move the head up and down. So as the tape was going at a much faster speed, so if your tape is going in fast forward for example, the actual video heads themselves, as they are spinning, I have a cat that's jumped up on the back of my chair and it's clawing my chair. I have two cats. There's going to be a cat fight here in a minute. I don't think you can hear that growling. But I have a cat behind me that's growling at another one. Anyway, back to the discussion here. Um, as the video head is rotating, the actual individual video heads themselves are moving up and down so that they can track this tape as the video tracks uh, because if you were to look at the tape itself it would give you the equivalent of the tracks would instead of being at an angle like this as the tape moves faster the angle changes right because you're moving the tape faster actually the angle gets sh angle will get shorter I believe anyway because um, yeah the angle would become shorter because the tape is actually moving at a faster rate so um, the heads themselves have the ability to track up and down so that they can track the tape and when it works it really works well. Um, the machine that I used to make this tape and what you're going to see following this little discussion is all done in analog recording uh, methods, all analog tape. The tape was recorded, it was a Super VHS tape that was recorded as I drove up the Duffy Lake Road up towards uh, Pemberton. I drove up the Duffy Lake Road up to, uh, I think up to Pemberton and then down the Fraser Canyon. But the whole thing is gonna take place, uh, I'm gonna put the, the entire tape on as it was copied and basically what I did was when I played the original tape back, I put the machine in fast forward 
with the dynamic tracking turned on. Um, the machine that was used was a, a Mitsubishi HSU82. It was a relatively expensive machine. It had dynamic tracking, which meant that it could play the tape at five times normal speed and give you a perfect quality output. A copy was made of that tape. So what you are going to see is you're going to see that original or that copy that was recorded at five times normal speed. And then you'll see how actually how clear dynamic tracking was able to do it. And as, as I say, now it's a piece of cake when you're dealing with digital. It's very easy to speed things up now in post-production. Uh, back in the 90s, it wasn't. It required specialized equipment. It required rebuilding the sinks, time-based correctors, the whole bit. Um, only the very best equipment, the studio equipment had it. And uh, they would say there was a few high-end Super VHS machines that offered that feature, and you're going to see how well it actually worked. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, for those that uh, are familiar with the area, if you watch this uh, tape, the first couple things when I looked at it, and I haven't seen this in forever, but if you look at when I crossed the Alex Fraser Bridge onto Highway 91, you'll notice that there is actually a traffic light to turn into Richmond which is no longer there it's now an interchange and when i'm going up rupert street between grandview highway and broadway there's no sky train in this video which of course there is now everyone knows that there's there's a sky train uh, that crosses the, the road right the train tracks so um be a lot of changes uh we watch the duffy lake road you'll notice that uh, there's a section of it that it's a gravel road because it there was a section of road that was gravel it's now been paved but uh, and highway 99 well this was done long before they did the improvements on highway 99 so i hope i uh, hope you all enjoy this look at some vintage highways from you know late 80s and early 90s i'm not sure quite which year that this was recorded it was probably i'm thinking probably between 88 and 90 was when i made this recording hope you enjoy it mm -hmm. 